Hello, my beautiful Capricorns. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for this is going to be for love, wealth, and uh, for what you need to know spiritually. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. This is going to be for the month of May. Actually, it's the second time I'm doing your reading. The first time I tried to do it um, through the Zoom app, I don't know, something happened with it. It just didn't really upload properly. So this will be the second time I'm doing your reading, guys. So if you guys have already seen it or, you know, this is going to be completely different reading because I don't know, it just didn't upload properly. So anyway, so if you would like a live personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com or check out the description box below. And again, for those of you that are just tuning in, yes, this is a new background because I am traveling at the moment. I am visiting my daughter. She's in a different state, but I should be back home soon. So, but this is, this is a, uh, so I apologize for this set the way it is now. So, I know the setup's a little bit different. So my darlings, if you are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you may want to check out my second channel, GWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. All right, let's go into your reading. So give me nine cards for what's going to happen in my Capricorn's romantic love life. Give me nine cards for what's going to happen in Capricorn's career and finance for the month of May. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Feel free to take notes, but definitely because I, I can't show my cards here. I'm just going to show you guys the cards as I'm pulling them. So you will see what I'm doing here, but take notes if you need to. So we got the devil card energy. So this is going to be the beginning of May here. Okay. It's going to be a romantic love life. It does look like somebody is strongly obsessed with you, strongly desiring you. Okay. So some addictions going on here. Could be with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy. Okay because there's a lot of contemplation about the future, where this is gonna go. And it's a lot about burdens and responsibility or something is weighing heavy on someone about these addictions, about this long-term situation. So let's also just lay down the rest of the cards here so I can move this deck aside here. Capricorn, I am obsessed with you. I can't stop thinking about you. I got some advice here and you're still weighing heavy on me and I don't know what to do. I don't know how to complete this situation, but you know what? Um, with this mother situation, for some of you, you could be having a mother situation here and Bob with your romantic love life is kind of infringing a bit and uh, it's becoming a little bit of a burden here in the situation um, for some of you guys. Um, so, but let's get more clarity to see what's going on here. What's going to happen? with my Capricorn's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorn's Romantic Love Life. Give me nine cards for my Capricorn's Career and Finance for the month of May. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Yeah, there's something shocking, surprising happening with the Scythe card energy about somebody who's longing or missing, for, missing you. Somebody who could be far away from you. Somebody you're dealing with on a long distance connection. We see there's people involved in the situation, uh, which is becoming a burden and responsibility here with the 10 of wands energy. We see the numbers here are saying, I want to accomplish or complete something here. I want to find a creative solution. I want you to make a choice. Let's gonna have my Capricorn's romantic love life for the month of May. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Again, it's, it's double clarifying. We're getting another devil card energy. It's showing like addictions. Um, someone who cannot stop thinking about you, Capricorn. There's been the self-focus here going on. But now it's like I'm overwhelmed here, Capricorn. I can't help myself. I'm really attracted to you. I have strong chemistry with you. All right. We see the King of Swords is showing me by the middle of the month, they're going to speak a truth. There's someone that's going to speak a truth. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. There's some good news coming in with the Page of Pentacles energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. I want to fight for this, right? I want to fight for this with the Five of Wands energy. Someone wants to apologize. There seems to be some jealousy going on here with the Devil card energy. And want some, they want some kind of improvements or changes here. There's strong desires here again with the snake card energy, concerns about lack of flexibility here and wanting to take a risk leap of faith. So the truth is coming out. 
it's going to be good news, but it's like someone wants to argue and fight with you about the changes around the situation, and they also are admitting they're a little bit jealous, okay? Yeah, there's a sense of, how do I let go of this? I want to gain control here. I see Capricorn that this person's like, I don't know if there's red flags here in the situation. I know there's issues here, but I'm trying to stay optimistic with you with the optimistic card. I'm trying to stay positive here. I'm trying to have faith that everything is going to work out with our romance. So you have somebody who's very addicted to you, very latchy here, very strongly attached. And uh, they don't understand why you keep separating yourself or isolating themselves from them because they're just very attracted to you and they realize it and you may realize it too with them because it almost seems like there's a mutual attraction here a chemistry with this person and it's like um there's concerns about letting go of control to just kind of move forward with the situation because uh it seems like there's a lot of jealousy going on okay this person has a lot of jealousy issues with you and around other people um, but there is a sense of, all right, I want to stay optimistic here. I want to stay positive about this situation. This person seems to really want your attention, Capricorn, with the Six of Wands energy. We see fresh start, new opportunity, concerns about being naive here in this flirting that's going on. It's like a lot of flirting going on between you and this person. <laughs> it's definitely a very passionate month, that's for sure, with you guys. Even in your other reading there that I had already posted, um, but I don't know what happened there. But it's like, there is this like, there's this very, very strong addiction between you and this person, okay? It's like you guys can't let go of each other like magnets. Like you can't help yourselves. Like you are so attracted to each other. It's like you even see her in this picture. Like you can see like the one person's just like showing the other person something. And it's like this other person is just so into it. It's like they can't help themselves. You know, they can't help themselves. And it's like, I want to let go of this. I want to stay, you know, maintain control of this, but I just can't help myself. And there's a lot of flirting going on between you and this person. And it's like, you feel like you guys are soulmate connections or there's this relationship that you're connecting with somebody very deeply here with this two of cups energy coming out. Oh yeah, we see main person. And it's like, how do I free myself from this situation? I keep going around in circles with this person because of this strong addiction. It's like, all right. And it looks like even by the end of the month, okay? It seems like the end of the month also, okay? You guys literally got the nine of, Knight of Wands energy, which as you guys know, what is the Knight of Wands energy? But passionate exercises, okay? The whole month seems to be these addictions, this, I can't stop thinking about you, I'm strongly attached to you, right? There's a lot of flirting, a lot of passion. I mean, you know, it's going to be a very passionate kind of month, okay? A lot of addictions. Um, this person seems to be getting jealous of you around other people, and it's like there's there's arguments or fights about that. Um, and by the end of the month, again, we see these passionate exercises coming out with the Knight of Wands energy. Yep, again, whip cards pointing again to passionate energy there because that's exactly what the night of the whip card is passionate exercises something that's repeating repeating right <laughs> oh my god you know there was a reader who was like literally like i can't make this stuff up capricorn like literally this is like a triple confirmation for you guys that yeah there's there's a lot of passion here this month <laughs> Oh my goodness. Pick three, three passionate cards coming out here. Lord. Okay. Uh, okay. Three passionate cards coming out here. Okay. Do we have to, this, okay. Okay. So yeah, you guys have a lot of passion coming in. Okay. It's a lot of addiction, a lot of passion coming in, strong attraction to this person. So we see this codependency and a sense of isolation or separation, but a lot of chemistry and passion. I can't control myself. And I know there's some red flags with this person, but I'm trying to stay um, optimistic. There's a lot of flirting, but I want to free myself. But then we just end up in this passionate situation again by the end of the month. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, I want to spend some alone time with you uh, because of the separation. Uh, forgive me. I want to express my love to you. And I want to reveal some things to you. I know that you're lacking the trust to me in, in me. Okay, so 
The shocking surprise about this person is missing you, longing for you, or is changes here. I want to spend time together. There's a risk, a leap of faith here, strong desires for improvements or changes, for a fresh start, new opportunity, main person, a lot of repeating patterns there. Whip card energy or passion exercises with a whip card energy. Okay. Devil card energy is talking about strong desire, strong attachment, lots of contemplation about the long term, overwhelmed with burdens of responsibility. I want to speak my truth here. And uh, there's some good news coming in. I want to argue and fight to get your attention. I want to connect with you. You're my soulmate connection. I want this relationship and a lot of passion and energy coming in with the Knight of Wands. It's one of the months. It's one of the months. Okay. Let's get you guys some advice. Can I advise my Capricorns when it comes to romantic love life for their highest best good, for the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, we got this one. Act like your life is a blessing and you will start feeling like a blessing. Give thanks for the blessed life. Let go and let God and know that he has a plan for you all along. Living gratitude for gratitude is the ultimate state of re receiving ship. When making big decisions, do your best to take your emotions out of the equation. Your mind will serve you better. Well, that's definitely the case when you have to make decisions about a situation because you can see that there's really strong passion and addiction here with you and another person. And also there's a lot of jealousy issues going on with your person with you. And um, it seems like uh, Spirit is saying, Try to stay neutral about the situation, right? What do I always say to you guys, right? In order to make a good decision, we have to be in a balanced place. We can't be triggered. We can't be too emotional. We have to be in that balanced place to do that. So I want you guys to follow your heart and listen to your intuition because you know what's best for you. So let's move into your current finance now. All right, we got the Empress card energy showing me you guys have a lot of abundance of energy coming in, okay? Something is growing, okay? And... Okay, hold on. Let me reshuffle this somehow. This got into the deck there. Okay, so I'm just going to have my Capricorns career and finance for the month of May. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, instead of putting it at the bottom of the deck, I put it on the top of the deck. Okay, all right. So you have some plans, you're thinking, you're contemplating about some things here with the Four of Swords energy. You've gained new ideas, new concepts, and new understanding by the beginning of the month here. Empress is coming out again, so definitely a card you were meant to see. You have abundance of great things here. Something is really growing in your situation. You are a little bit confused. That's why you're thinking about this. But your confusion is about the end with the death card energy. And we see there is some loyalty and devotion to a situation, something that's been growing. So let's use this card. This is the symbolism card. Card deck. What's going to have my Capricorn's career and finance for the month of May? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> There's definitely some issues going on here at the beginning of the month. But you crack things open and you have a better understanding of the situation. You're really taking some time to really think about this, okay? You have some choices to make by the middle of the month, maybe possibly with a contract or a partnership. You do have a sense of recovery or healing in your situation. You're taking it easy on yourself. You're taking a break here. It looks like the King of Wands, by the middle of the month, you finally get to the point where you're like, I need to take a leadership role here and just not be a natural born leader and go towards my creativity and my passions. Yep. The writer card talks about movement or actions towards that. It's like the Knight of Wands energy. It looks like you are in a, in a place of, you know, you're following your intuition. You um, have gained some kind of guidance here. And you are taking some actions here with the Knight of Pentacles energy. And you're going slow and steady. And you've taken a little bit longer because you're really making sure you're being very strategic about this. So you're going to make some kind of decision here to bring things together in your situation. 
And it looks like some of you guys may be juggling two different things at once here or trying to get your scheduling into balance here with the Two of Pentacles energy, but you're making a heavy choice here towards your success with the Sun card energy and gaining some kind of knowledge about this situation. Some of you guys are being patient, trying to bring things into balance and just testing the waters here. You are getting some kind of recognition by the end of the month. Yep, people are noticing you. And it looks like you'll have to make a decision or a choice here by the end of the month. Because it looks like you're going to be receiving some kind of extra money, some kind of invitation somewhere, or a lot of appreciation with the bouquet card energy. And it looks like a lot of people are trying to follow what you want to do here. So we see that there's, you start out in the middle of the month, the beginning of the month with some issues here, but you kind of break out of that situation and you put some thoughts and planning into it and uh, you end the situation, you follow your intuition and you bring things together. You gain some kind of knowledge and people really notice what you're doing and they're like, okay, well, I want to do what you're doing. So I'll follow the beat of your drum here. Okay, the confusion ends. Uh, we see there's some kind of loyalty, devotion, and recovery, healing. Um, we see some good news coming in. You're going to have to make some kind of decision uh, about your happiness or success. You get some recognition. You receive some kind of invitation or receive some kind of gift or bonus or uh, um, just a lot of appreciation here about the decisions that you've made. So at the beginning of the month, you really think about this, you contemplate, and you get some kind of new ideas, new concept. And um, Empress tells me that there's something that you're growing, you're, you're finding a creative solution to the making this choice towards something you really love. You decide to take charge of this and take some actions here. Maybe you're going a little bit slower than you would like with the Knight of Pentacles energy. Maybe it's taking a little bit longer, but you're juggling some things. Maybe two things at once here with the Two of Pentacles energy. You're making a heavy decision to be patient, to bring things into balance. It looks like by the end of the month, you're making some good choices. So let's get some advice for you guys. Can I have some advice for my Capricorns? For their highest best good, for the best possible outcome for them when it comes to their career and finance. Show me the cards in need, you see? Show me the cards I need. Two. See. Absolutely. Keep being independent here, Capricorn. And protect that idea. And speak your truth. I have the right to speak because I listen when others speak. Definitely seek what you want here. I seek new friends and experiences to expand my awareness. And I fight for what I want. Even if I have to have a sense of independence or I have to be a loner. Because I have experience from the past. I just have to communicate here. And you have enough experience from the past where you could actually mentor others and give some of your life experience. All right, my beautiful Capricorns. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Yes, guys, I do read my comments, so I do love hearing from you. So if you want to claim this message, if this message resonates with you, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much, and I will see you guys soon.